Nigga, I'm not coming to do no show. Why am I coming to do a show for? Nigga, you think I'm trying to be a rapper, nigga? I know what come with that industry, nigga. My heart got broken trying to rap, nigga. You hear me? Put, I put years into that shit, fam. I ain't trying to be no motherfucking rapper, nigga. None of that shit because that shit ain't real. It ain't based on no motherfucking talent, nigga. It's based on how much dick you gonna suck. Who the fuck gonna sell out the most? Who the fuck gonna sacrifice, kill family members and shit like that? Do all this shit. It's against the, the real righteousness, man. Come on, man. It's a satanic ass industry. Motherfuckers, if motherfuckers knew to have, you wouldn't even listen to niggas. You wouldn't even listen to niggas. Or the Lord, I'm talking about any genre, pop. Entertainment, you wouldn't watch movies. You wouldn't watch these niggas shoot a jump shot in the NBA, nigga, if you knew the half, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. These the same motherfuckers drinking blood. These the motherfuckers kidnapping y'all kids. The same niggas albums y'all buying. The same motherfuckers y'all voting for, nigga. The same niggas who brands y'all wearing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, you never see them, though. But you never see them, though. Fuck all that. I'm a celebrity. I ain't trying to get killed, shit, nigga. That's some hoe ass shit, nigga. Nigga, I think everywhere, nigga, everywhere I go in Atlanta, motherfuckers be knowing me now, Joe. Nigga, my tattoo artist knew me when I walked in that bitch. I, the, the, the lady I bought fruit from the other day at the fruit bar, nigga, she didn't know me, but her daughter knew me. She, oh, that's the guy. That's Rashad Jamal. He be, on, he be on Instagram. Nigga, I'm out here with the people, nigga. I'm pulling up on niggas right here on the south side. I'm in the hood, too, nigga, in my foreign, nigga, and with my jewelry or whatever that, nigga. By myself, nigga. I pull up in the hoods, walk up in the hoods, because the real know the real, G. I ain't going to never be scared of my people, nigga. I'm not going to never be scared. I'm going to be with my people, nigga. Fuck am I going to be somewhere else for, nigga? Fuck I'm going to go get successful and go move out to the cement. some old fake ass shit. Now I'm going to still walk around, nigga. I don't give a fuck whether motherfuckers know me. Niggas don't know me. And that motherfucker starting to know me, nigga, I'm still going to be the same nigga. I still walk around with a, with a motherfucking white beat, nigga. If I have a white beat on, nigga, and I get a Kool-Aid stain on it, nigga, I'm not finna change my shit because I drop some gold, nigga. I'm going to wear that shit the rest of the day, nigga, because I come from the hood, nigga. I'm from Division of Noble, nigga. I'm from the hood. I come out of Chicago. I ain't never had shit, nigga, so why the fuck I'm going to change, nigga? And if you can't understand that I motherfucker was drinking some Kool-Aid today, nigga, and I so happen to, to, to spill my drink on my shirt, why the fuck, then, nigga, you ain't real, nigga. Why Why do I, the, the standards in America, in this country, it's it just so fucked up, right? It's just so much fake shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't even have a stain on your shirt. Niggas got to change their shirt because you motherfucker, motherfuckers walking around, you'll be like, why you got a stain, nigga? You ain't never had a stain on your shit. You know what I'm saying? Put unnecessary pressure on niggas. Everybody, especially social media, everybody want to go stay niggas going broke just to get lines, to have a fresh line every day because you don't want to go live because you ain't got your hair cut. You ain't got your hair did. Your beard ain't shaved. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. This old fake ass shit, nigga. I ain't for none of it. That's why it's real over rich this way. That's why they don't like me. Nigga, but I'ma still stand out here, go amongst the people, nigga. Really support the black owned businesses. Really get back to the community. Don't, I don't be filming none of that shit. I'ma start, though. I'm a star though, nigga. But I'm I'm out here though amongst the people though, nigga. I'm out here amongst the people, nigga. They could rob me too, nigga. The people I'm around, I they ain't in no foreigners, nigga. I'm riding up in foreigners, nigga. I'm all on the internet flashing big stacks of money. Then they see me in person. I'm in foreigners, and I really come on, man. And I'm by myself, motherfucker. Like why would motherfucker trap me? You know what I'm saying? Cause the God in me, nigga. Motherfuckers know the real when they see a nigga. Like if you fake. That's what happened. Niggas that become, become successful, they don't come out to struggle. So you whole ass niggas come back through and niggas poke, rob y'all goofy ass. Because y'all don't even be for the people anyway. Niggas be putting out all the music, all the, all, the, all the movies, motherfucker, and we believe in them. And we put our money into them. I done, bought, I, bought, I done bought hella albums. I done bought hella movies, nigga. I support. I spend money every day, nigga. So I'm spending with everybody. I'm spending with different businesses every day. So at the end of the day, like, we can do all that, but we don't get it back from them. In no form, shape, way. Motherfuckers is not real over rich. Niggas is rich over real. I ride past Rick Ross' house every motherfucking day, nigga. I probably seen that standing out there one time, nigga. But I can get on the internet to see you all with Diddy and where was I at, nigga? I ride past your crib every day, nigga. And why the police sitting in front of your shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not have your people sitting in front of your shit? Yo, old rap songs when I first started fucking with you, he was hollering out that Triple C's shit, nigga. Yeah, I'm one of them Rick Ross fans. Now, I was listening to your ass way back when you was hollering that Triple C's before Maybach music, before you had your own label, nigga. Back when you was just with Slip and Slide, nigga. You was just the fat boy in the video, nigga. Come on, man. I stopped fucking with you when I found out you was 12. I'm like, oh, it's a rap. Then you got to say, you feeling like Larry and Meech. It was an over rap for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if I ever see you, I'm going cleaning your shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about it. 
And I was like 15. And it's still that with me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, nigga, back when you was triple C's and you had gunplay, nigga, and all that shit was going on, nigga. And you was you talking about you fuck with the Zoes and you was, I got them things, pretty things flying across the Atlantic. Pablo, Noriega, the real Noriega, he owed me a hundred favors. I thought, I thought a nigga really owed you a hundred favors. You know what I'm saying? I'm, th I'm a kid hearing this shit. I'm a kid growing up hearing this shit. Nigga, I thought them niggas owed you a hundred favors for real. You know what I'm saying? And if them niggas owed you a hundred favors and you got carbon in your skin, you a guy like us, nigga. You in Florida with the Zoes. I fuck with the Zoes. Well, I don't see the Zoes posted up in front of your shit. Pay the Zoes. Make them be your security. Put your community on. Why not pay the Zoes and get them a job? Shit, fuck it. If niggas, if, if, fuck it, nigga, get niggas they license, whatever, all that shit. Nigga, you got the money, nigga. Money talk. When money, when money brings power, power brings connections and relationships. You can sit down with motherfuckers and get shit. Motherfucking gone. Woo. We are going ahead and cleanse that off the record. Expunge that. We'll expunge that off the record for that little cool 250. The public never sees the records anyway. Come on, man. This is what they do. Okay, so why not do that with your Zoles, nigga? I would have scooped all the Zoles. All the niggas I fucked with that I was rapping about, I said I fucked with. You know what I'm saying? And coming up in Miami, nigga, all that Port of Miami shit. Where my Port of Miami niggas at? I go scoop my Port of Miami niggas. You feel me? I'm going to grab all my Zoles, nigga. I'm like, what? Okay, we're going to get you. We're going to make it legal, though. We're going we gonna to follow that bullshit law. You know what I'm saying? So if they do want to get us some bullshit, we just going to go crazy. That's how I would have played if I was Ross, right? I would have motherfucking school my niggas, make them go to security classes, nigga. Now they get their gun license and they get their shit to be official security. And now they posted in front of my matches, nigga. And they getting paid every hour on the hour. Fuck bringing niggas to with me to shows. You see what I'm saying? That's how y'all favorite rappers do they niggas. They bring their niggas with them to shows, but don't put their niggas in position to win. Man, put your niggas in position to win. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, he's supposed to be putting the niggas in position to win. Nigga, he really got it. I ain't talking about rappers just coming up and they ain't got it like that. I'm talking about a Rick Ross type of rapper, a caliber that's made it. Right? Okay, boom. I'm putting my niggas in position to win, man. Nigga, you in the A. Nigga, niggas in the A don't ain't lying. Nigga, I don't stay on the south side. I be all over the A. But when I ride past Rick Ross' house, he on the south side somewhere over there. When I do ride past the shit, nigga, and I ride past there about once a day, nigga, I don't be seeing nothing but 12 out there, nigga. What's that, Clay? What's that? Who that be out there? Man, that be Clay? Who that, who that be? Fayette. Is that Fayetteville? That be Fayetteville County, nigga. Whole ass, nigga. I don't want to be no motherfucking right to be a great car. Nigga, I ride past it every day, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. WCW, nigga. Maybe a motherfucking nigga. Where the Zoles at, nigga? Nigga, you hear me? Where the Zoles at, nigga? Nigga, where the Zoles at? Why the Zoles ain't right there, nigga? Fuck a Fayetteville County car, nigga, with all that money. Start your own law enforcement agency, nigga. That's what I'm saying. All the black cops. And all the Latino cops, and if you're a human being, white cop, and you're a good cop, because there's a few good white cops, I done spoke to some you, some white cops, I ain't gonna lie. I done had some white cops show me some love before. Shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying? In Chicago coming up, I done had black cops be on bullshit with me. I ain't gonna ever sit here and, and kick and lie like that, because remember, it's duality in all things. You got good in everything and bad in everything, all right? But at the end of the day... Why not start our own everything, y'all? I'm saying fuck the whole country, and we need to start our own everything. So if you a cop, nigga, okay, how about leaving your job, and then y'all come to get to start your own union, and y'all start your own law enforcement agency where y'all really do this shit the right way, where y'all go after the pedophiles, and the motherfuckers is really bringing the drugs in, and the motherfuckers is really doing the division, the motherfucking Hollywood screen directors, the motherfuckers down here in Atlanta that be, still, that be throwing these motherfucking matching parties, nigga, and we down here molesting these little kids, nigga, and raping these little boys, nigga, and killing motherfuckers, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? But niggas don't want to talk like that, though. You see what I'm saying? I'm the only one want to talk like that. And I'm the only one ready to, I'm ready to get on that. You see what I'm saying? I'm ready to get on that, nigga. I ain't worried about shit. You hear me? I'm not worried about shit because I come in peace. But if it, take, if it take war to get the peace, nigga, I'm with it. I come in peace. But if it takes war, see, 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 this, this is what they, they, read, they read me wrong. Niggas read me wrong all the time. You see, they get on here and think I'll be on bullshit, y'all. I really don't be on bullshit. And that ain't what it be. This is what it be. This is what it be. This is what it really be, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Look. And I, and I told them this last night on the university. Listen, man. I come in peace, man. Oh, yeah. Niggas like, oh, he got the, yeah. I'm a jack of all trades, fam. 
Y'all thought I was fucking around. I'm not fucking around. Listen. I come in peace, man. You hear me? I come in peace. But nigga, if it takes war, and I, and I want y'all to hear me clearly. That's why I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck if y'all take the social media, none of that shit on my son. Nigga, I come in peace, man. Stop trying to make me seem like I'm some radical. Stop trying to make me seem, no, because y'all be trying to make me, not y'all, not the university. I'm talking to the elites right now. I'm talking to the motherfuckers trying to make me seem like I'm a racist. I don't like it. Don't ever call me no racist. Call me racist in my face. I'm going to fuck you clean up out there, nigga. I ain't even going to give you a chance. I ain't going to box with you. I'm going to straight go into a Muay Thai one-on-one -on, -one on your ass. All elbows and knees. I'm breaking everything on you. I ain't even going to fuck. I ain't going to play with you. Listen, man, because when you try to, when y'all try to, don't try to kill my, don't try to fuck my legacy up. Nigga, tell what I was when I was here, nigga. Nigga, he was a righteous motherfucker that saw what was going on in this country. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he grew up because he had came here on that anyway. And he remembered who he was. And he knew that it was going to take real war to get to that peace. And he was the motherfucker that was like, you know what? It had to be. It was a Rosa Parks. It was a Rosa Parks, wasn't it? Rosa had to stand up. Rosa was, was looked at as violent and outlandish in that civil rights movement when she didn't get out that back seat. I seem violent and outlandish to stand here with this machete like this. And it seemed like I would and then be like, listen, man, I don't I'm, I don't mind taking the heads off of every racist motherfucker in these motherfucking global elites that's molesting our kids and harming our kids. I don't see color. I don't see race. Stop saying I'm racist, nigga. I don't see no fucking color, nigga. All I see is souls and spirits and vibrations, nigga. And if you vibe and low, your ass gets spoken of in this university, nigga. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you is, nigga. If your ass a rapper, an actor, a basketball player, nigga, a, a politician, nigga, a school teacher, a lawyer, a judge, nigga, you could be a motherfucking stenographer, nigga. Nobody is safe if you vibrate and low with me, nigga. Now let me say, let me read me the fuck right. I come in peace, nigga. We came in peace. An Anunakai gods, nigga. We let you bitches come here first. We came in peace, nigga. We was always peaceful. You hear me? Nah, fuck that. They got me fucked up. Every time I try to be myself, they want to take kick me off live and shit. You know what I'm saying? 